What's up guys, Heinz Crypto here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to utilize an HP power supply with a breakout board to power some mini ASICs. So that sounds good, please stay tuned. So welcome back guys. Before we get into it, please hit the like, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to release more content on a you know regular daily basis now and trying to take you know my YouTube journey more seriously. But let's jump on into it. And like I said, I will link everything down in the description if you guys are curious or you know want to purchase pick one of these things up. They're very, very nice. You know, nowadays when you get these mini ASICs, they come with like a brick, right? And they get super, super hot and they're just not very trustworthy, right? With these, you can order them in pieces and you know exactly what you're getting all the way down to the PCI cables and gauges with the PCI cable. So taking a look at this server right, or power supply right here, this is an HP 1200 watt power supply and you got to take note when you are on 120 volt and not 240 it says input 110 120 volt on a 1200 watt power supply you're only going to be able to max out at 900 watts when you're using 120 volt but when you're using uh 240 you can see here that you have a max of 1200 watts and always you know be safe and play the 80 percent rule with any you know power you're hooking to just to be safe right so uh, and this uh, breakout board here, I will also link it below. So when you get these connected and you have them hooked to the machine, it also reads the voltage and the current. So it's, you know, you can easily tell and do the math on how many watts you are currently using. So it really comes in handy. And it also has a nice little on and off switch here. So you're not like, a, you know, turning the power off, off of your ASICs. You know, I know that can be a scary moment in time when you go to cut your ASICs off and you just, you know, unplug them from the wall or plug them back in. So this is a nice little feature on this breakout board as well. So what we're going to do is right here, you can see on the back of these power, on the front of these power supplies, it has this little chip here. And what you're going to do is you're going to connect it right into this. So I'm going to put this together and we will be right back. So as you can see, I got it all plugged in and back together. And sometimes you got to use a little bit of force to get these things together. So don't worry, you know, don't, you know, hammer it together. But, you know, it does take a little bit of force to be able to get these on sometimes. And also just a shout out to Parallel Miner. This is this is where I get my server power supplies from. Great company, super fast shipping, really good pricing. Um, and I, like I said, I'll link those down in the description below. But another thing we're going to need at least for my situation i'm using 120 volt you're gonna need a c13 plug to whatever volt plug that you are using and in my case i'm using 120 so it's just going to be a standard american uh, outlet plug for this so we're going to go over to my mini asics now and get this all plugged in and show you what it looks like in action all right guys so you can see we're over here at my little mini asic station sorry if you can hear this l3 plus in the background it's over there hashing away but as you can see, so I got my PCI cables right here, right? And I've done already ran the wires into the back of my Apollo and to the back of these mini KDA miners here. So what you're going to want to do is after you get them ran, you just take these plugs down here and connect them into your breakout board. And if you want, you know, what I do to kind of be safe is kind of stagger them a little bit. But, you know, I don't think it really matters too much. But just be mindful of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these plugged in. So as you can see, I got all my PCI cables plugged into the breakout board. And this is where I was talking about stagger them. You see how there's four columns of female ports. So I just put one PCI cable in each of the slots or each of the columns to, you know, give it a little bit more diverse power output. So then after we get our PCIs all in place, you're going to come over here and get your C13 plug and you can see where it goes into the back of the power supply so once you get all that plugged in you're going to see a nice little yellow light so what you want to do next is like i was talking about earlier it's got this nice little on button you just hit that and you can hear the beautiful asics firing away but you can see here of course it's not going to read accurately right now because they're just at idle but once they get connected to the network and start hashing um, it's going to read your current and your voltage and that way you can measure your watts So when these get back hashing, I will come back and show you guys how to go about doing that Also guys, I want to give a quick shout out to the guys over at Apollo 
Um, they are a partner of the channel and they got some pretty cool deals still going on for these mini ASIC miners. So if you're just getting into mining or know somebody that wants to get into mining, these are a perfect source for them to learn about it and get familiar with it before they upgrade to something else. So we do have an affiliate link down in the description below. It's not necessary, but it is greatly appreciated. So thank you, iPolo, for partnering with the channel. And let's get back into the video. All right, guys, so we're back and they are hashing away. And as you can see here, you got your amps, 54 amps and 11.8 volts. So what we're going to do is take the amps and multiply it by the volts and we will get how much wattage we are pulling. All right, so we're over here at the computer and the amps was 54 times 11.8. And we got 637 watts. So we're staying well within our 80% rule of the 900 watts. And I am running three mini ASICs. So we are well within our range of the 80% rule on the PSU of 900 watts. That's pulling about 600. And I'm running that iPolo in these two KDA miners. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That is how you use an HP server power supply and breakout board. Uh, please leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. What are you guys using to power your ASICs? I would love to know. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.